Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we're here to talk about the new HKS Hypermax S's. These are not completely brand new, they've been out for a little bit of time, but they have replaced all the Hypermax 3's, Hypermax 4's, and they replaced it with a Hypermax S and a Hypermax R. So I already kind of opened this up just to get an idea of what was in the boxes so I can explain everything to you. So these are the fronts over here. So let me just open this up. They are, it's a two box system, so two fronts in one box. The rears are gonna be in the other box over there. It's got a protector to cover the valve adjuster right here, the dampening adjuster. Let's get this thing out. So this is an inverted shock, which is pretty cool. It's something you usually only see on super, super high-end stuff products. I really like the quality. The build is really high-end, it's very heavy. It's got the preload already set. Um, so when you're doing your adjustment, you wanna unloosen this collar here with the adjusted, with the tools that are included. So you got that, plus this is for the rear. You got the spacers for the rear. So everything's here for you guys. And I really like the top hat. I like the color of it. So one thing I do want to plug in is that I was at the HKS facility back in January during Tokyo Autosan, and I was actually shocked. I actually thought that they had someone else building these for them, but I was completely wrong. I was actually there. They have a whole suspension building where they're actually assembling these, putting them together. Every, every single thing itself is actually there. They do not source anything out for these, which I thought maybe they just added it to the catalog to complement all their other products. But HKS is actually one legit company, guys, and that's why they're one of the number one sellers of a lot of the Japanese products. So let's talk about this product a little bit in specific. This is specifically for the GR86. This is a part number ending in AT027. There is a very specific part number for the BRZ, the new generation BRZ. And there is a part number for the first gen cars. The difference is very minute, it's very small, but it has to do with the dampening and the spring rates. Subaru BRZ and the GR86 both handle different from the factory. The GR86 has always been known to be a little bit more of a tail happy car. So the suspension's set up like that. The Subaru, they have always wanted a little bit of like an understeer or a plowing feel, uh, more like an all wheel drive car. So they've always set the suspension a little bit different with the sway bars and the suspension rates in the spring. If you drive two of the cars back to back, you'll absolutely see and notice the difference between the two cars, especially if you're trying to get it, the Subaru to kick out a little bit. It just doesn't want to do it. It actually wants to kind of correct itself where the GR86 will always just want to stay a little fun and a little more tail happy. On to the rears. Let's, get, let's open that one up. Let's set this one back in here. And like I said earlier, it is a two box system. So the rears are gonna be in here. Set this off to the side. So in here, it's pretty empty compared to the other one. They're not as big. This is a monotube shock versus the inverted that was on the front. But this one's actually really cool because it has a helper spring right here. The price point of this product is really towards the super high end, but the price is actually really, really competitive. And I think it's a really, I mean, I don't think, I know this is a really competitive and a really good quality product. If you guys saw on the bag I showed you earlier, there's the washers for the rear. So that's pretty standard. Um, your adjustment, you have enough space to bring this thing down quite a bit. So you have all, you can push this piece all the way down here. The adjustment is in the top for the rear section with that special tool. Everything here though is just really good quality guys. So we highly recommend these. There is a limited time special if you call us only on these. We do have these in stock. As I said, they have been out for a while, but they've been a very, very popular seller. You guys probably know why. Your friends are probably telling you how great these ride and how comfortable they are. So one thing that I do wanna to talk to you about, this is the S. The S is really, more for street use. You can take these on the track, but if you're driving your car 80, 90% on the street and you wanna just do an occasional track day, this is the coilover for you. But if you are a track dedicated person or your car is track dedicated, they have the R model. The R is specifically for the track with a little bit of street driving. It'll just be a little bit more aggressive. It's a really great product. You can pick either one. I'm gonna tell you right now that this is the more popular one. This is the more standard one that people are going with. So HKS also has these for many other applications. These specifically here are for the GR86. Uh, check our website for more listings. We have specifically the GR Corolla. They have them available for the A90 Supra and many other cars. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video.